Hey folks, welcome back to the Cotswold Collectibles YouTube channel. I am Greg Brown, owner of Cotswold Collectibles. Um, this week we were going to talk about uh, Manitou Free Traders and the sets that uh, we have and we've been carrying for a couple of years now. But I decided to uh, change course a little bit and talk about kind of the hot thing that's been going on in the discussion group for the past month or so. And it is this Buzz Lightyear um, action figure set that has been popping up at Target, Walmart, Amazon, you name it, you find it, you buy it. Uh, the price range is around $19.99 to about $24.99, as much as $29.99. I think I got this on Amazon via Amazon Prime for $19.99 delivered. And the reason why a lot of people have been talking is if you notice that this particular set, and I'm, I'm not quite sure if the name, I want to say it's called the Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Gear Set. Um, but go ahead and Google it. The figure is 12 inches tall, approximately. See the figure right here. But what's really interesting, he comes with modular gear to make up a spacesuit. Um, in particular, the set has the space helmet, the two-piece chest unit, um, the belt, the boots, and I don't have it shown here, but you can kind of see it right here. You have, I, I haven't seen the movie, I think it's like an electric prod or something, an electric sword. And then there's like a wrist gauntlet or communication gauntlet, and I don't have either one of those here, but you can see the wrist gauntlet right here on this particular set. And what a lot of people have been doing is they've been taking these parts and getting rid of some of the items. Um, if you want to keep this or give it to your brother or sister or whatever, you can. Uh, it's a nice figure, but when you compare it to a figure that is articulated more, you kind of want to do this. So what a lot of people are doing is getting rid of this guy. What some people have done, these are not really boots. They're like facade boots. Some people have been using them. You can do it. I particularly didn't like this particular vibe that went with this. So I generally took these and just set these aside. But what I did keep is I kept the chest piece front and back, the helmet, and the belt. And what I did is I got one of our blue jumpsuits. We carry a multitude of different jumpsuits in different colors. I like the blue because it was a nice contrast with the white where it's a kind of an off white. So what I did is I got one of our elite figures and by the way, if you are wondering, our Elite Brigade Caucasian bodies with action hands and uh, with classic hands, we are fully stocked on those. We just got in a shipment today of 1,500 bodies. So we've been holding back and ordering a body. If you've been waiting for them to get restocked, they are back in stock. In fact, this is one of those bodies from that inventory that came in. So anyway, you put, you put the jumpsuit on here. I'm kind of a stickler for the classic look of the space guy, uh, astronauts, especially like the Gemini and what, you know, they had the, the lace-up boots. So I took a pair of our white lace-up boots, you put them on here, tuck in the leg. You can choose whatever boots you want to do. We carry some really nice boots from Grunga Toys that are kind of have a more science fiction look to it. Or if you have any boots of your own, like I said, the sky's the limit as far as customizing on this. I'm just picking some items that we had here. All right, so now it's got a nice kind of a space spaceman outfit look to him. What I did with this, and I didn't get to finish it off, is I removed the, the light gear and the decal that's on there. And there's a little bit of sticky, but you can use goof off or alcohol to get rid of that. And I was going to do another decal that's on there, and you can, you can change to whatever you want. Some people have been painting these. I'm just showing the basics on, on how to do one of these. I've seen people paint them. I've seen people do weathering to them but I'm just showing you how to do the basics. What's awesome is the chest piece fits perfectly on this guy. And it's simply a pressure, pressure closure on here. You got these pieces here, pop, pop. Got to get the shirt out a little bit, pop that one in. So you get all four of those pieces in and it fits almost perfectly on a vintage body. I haven't tried it on a dragon style body or DID style body or like that, but I'm a vintage guy and I really liked how this looked. Next, you can take the, the belt and the belt fits great on this figure. And boom, now you got your belt on the guy. So you can kind of start seeing the beginnings of this. Now what you do, you put the helmet on and it just make sure you get it around here. I have a guy with flocking. And then you just get it right there, hold the back and the front, and then boom. Perfect fit on this guy. I mean, this thing looks awesome. Now, what I want to do to, do, to finish this off, you can do different things that you if you want to. Um, we sell black 
black hands, white hands, if you want to do gloved hands. What I did is I borrowed um, some uh, uh, cloth gloves that we have. We currently don't offer these right now, but we will be offering these uh, probably in the next 30 or so days, um, different color gloves. Um, so you basically, you take the gloves, fit them on there, and I just kind of tuck it in there. And then, of course, I had to make the mistake of getting Kung Fu grip hands. These will fit way better on classic hands, but you'll get the idea from here. Um, the reason I like these is because, if you notice, I'm going with the classic colors of red, white, and blue. Really cool looking. Um, the jumpsuits that we have, we offer a multitude of different color jumpsuits. As you've seen, we have gray, we have white, we have yellow, orange, black, you name it. So, so anyway, boom. There he is with the, with the gloved hands. And then finally what I did is this is one of the wrist controllers. Uh, we currently don't offer this right now. We do offer a multitude of other wrist controllers from Sean Huckster, but we will be coming out with this one later. This one is actually one of the um, ones that we made for the, the Lunar Hopper set, which you can go check it out on, online, which is where the boots, uh, where the gloves came from. Um, but we offer different colors of these as well not just this particular version. You've, you've seen our wrist controllers. And the reason this one's really cool is the way Sean designed it was that the wrist controller, actually the control pad fits on the, on the hand itself, not on the wrist. So it actually extends a little bit. Um, you could put it on the left hand or the right hand, whatever, whatever, um, whatever you like. But once you're all said and done, pulls them up a little bit and then boom. For nineteen dollars and some, you know, and some other parts, you can do your own very, your own very spaceman. So, but, um, but yeah, go out there and check it out. Like I said, Amazon.com, Target.com, Walmart.com. I think they all have these. Um, you can get them on eBay if you want to. But uh, it's another great thing. I always encourage doing customizing and kit bashing. And again, this really fits into that thing, into that, that idea and that concept. And being that you don't see a whole lot of one six scale items other than us out there at Walmart and Target, this was a welcome addition and a welcome sight for a lot of collectors to see. But so anyway, go out there and get you one and uh, make yourself your own space map. Uh, make sure also that you check down below and that you uh, that you like this uh, video, that you subscribe to our uh, to our YouTube channel and uh, check back next week for another video. Thanks.